This is Mark with Productivity 501. I wanted to do a brief video of here showing you how um, I use folder templates. So in this example I've got a folder called clients and in that I've got client one and after I've worked with this for a while I've kind of got a standard setup of what I won't need in all my client folders. So what I will do is I will take that and create a folder called Z underscore template and create all the the structure that I that I need for future clients. The reason I call it Z underscore template is that keeps it sorted at the bottom of my list so it doesn't clutter anything up. Um, also if you notice the folders that I've created I begin with an underscore that keeps them at the top of the list um, in my client folders. So this can be as many level deep in as many levels deep as you need. So here under the the template I have a notes folder and in that folder I've got maybe something called access info which is a uh, text file that maybe has information about URLs and things I need to access the system. Um, if I go to contract I've got my contract template set up there um, and I could have other folders and stuff here. This is kind of simple just for an example. So when I go to create another client all I do is I take my template folder and copy it and then rename it and now I have my client one and my, my client two and it's all set up for my standard setup for a client and then if I need to create new folders I can create them here as well. Now one of the big advantages of this isn't so much just that I don't have to create all these folders from, from scratch. There's two really big advantages. One is whenever I need to save a piece of information I've already got a structure in place or a place to put that information and I'm not trying to create a new folder to put it in or worse just putting it in kind of the top level for that client. The other big advantage is when it comes to look for information it's very easy to find because everything for each client is in the same place. Um, and as I work with clients, if I discover that there's another particular type of folder that, that I need very commonly, I'll just add it to my template and then it's there next time I create a client. So this type of um, structure can be used for, I'm, I'm showing it here, being used for clients. You can use something similar for any time that you need a lot of folders that are very similar in the way that they're, that they're set up and you want to have the same structure. It's a very small thing, but it can save you a lot of time if you apply this to, to your uh, desktop organization.